Hi there. Let me give you a few hints on the second AP practice uh, free response question over correlation and regression. So this one is about commercial airlines and the cost, operating cost per hour for airliners based on the number of passenger seats. So again, it's always important to take some time, read the question carefully, and then look what you are given. This time you are not given a residual plot. Instead, on this question, unlike the one on the front, you're given a scatter plot. So notice the x-axis is labeled with the number of passenger seats. The y-axis is labeled with operating cost per hour. I can see the plotted ordered pairs, and here is the graph of the best fit line or the least squares regression line. Here is some computer output with the values you should be able to recognize which are important. So again, in part A, what is the equation of the least squared regression line that describes the relationship between operating cost per hour and the number of passenger seats in the plane? Make sure you define the variables used in this equation. I would offer they're even telling you. Read the question. They're telling you what the variables are. I can see it right here in the question. So when you write this out carefully, make sure you use y hat. You need your intercept plus your slope times x. You need to be very specific about what the response variable means, what the explanatory variable means, and it is perfectly acceptable. Instead of writing a y hat here, you can describe that response variable and use the word predicted or estimated with it. That implies hat. Here, instead of x, you could put the explanatory variable, put a description of it. That will satisfy the requirement of defining variables that are used. So in part b, what is the value of the correlation coefficient? and interpret this correlation. So, of course, the correlation isn't given to you in the computer output, but you have R squared. So you can use R squared to very quickly find the value of the correlation. <clears throat> Pardon me, the value of the correlation coefficient, the value of R. And then it's important that you interpret that correlation. Remember, the correlation describes the strength of a particular type of relationship I would offer that that's the type of relationship that you are looking at in this graph. So things to think about when you're describing this, it is worth describing the direction, the form, and the strength. Something to think about. So last, on the last part of the question, so let's say you only want to look in the range from 250 to 350 seats. So does the line shown in the scatter plot still provide a good description of the relationship? Why or why not? So it is a yes or no question. Make sure that you answer yes or no, but then you do need to explain why or why not. So the simplest way to look at this question is literally to cover up the part of the graph above 350. So you want to cover up this part of the graph and then cover up the part of the graph below 250 passenger seats. So cover up this portion of the graph here. We're only looking at this section of the graph right there. So if you believe then that the linear model that is already plotted, if that linear model is no longer appropriate, you should be able to explain why. And explaining why it could involve describing differences in terms of direction or differences in terms of form. You really won't be able to describe differences in terms of strength because you don't have the data to actually run a correlation or a linear regression, but you can certainly describe differences in terms of direction or in terms of form. You could probably use some of what is indicated in part A, maybe differences in terms of one of these values here, the intercept or the slope. That might suggest why a model from 250 to 350 might not be as appropriate. So, But think about the fact that it's first a yes or no question, and then second, you really do need to justify why you believe that's the case. Hope this has been helpful.